hello everyone in today's video i'm going to be walking you through how to prove the binomial theorem with the help of mathematical induction you remember that there are two steps involved in mathematical induction that is the base case and the inductive step now let's start with the base case now for the base case let's say we have our proposition n this is our p of n this is our statement now for the base case we show that p of 1 is what is true because 1 is the smallest natural number p of 1 now for p of 1 if you substitute n to be 1 now on the left hand side here what do we have, what are we going to have we are going to have this to be what a plus b raised to power 1 to be equals to now if we put 1 in this summation here what are we going to have we are going to have summation r starting from 0 up to 1 of what 1 combination r of a raised to power 1 minus r b raised to power r and if we expand this what are we going to have we are going to have this to be now starting from zero we have one combination zero of a raised to power one minus what zero b raised to power zero plus what plus one combination one of a raised to power one minus one b raised to power what one and by the time you expand this what am i going to have i'm going to have of course you know that one combination zero is what one and a raised to power one is to what one so I have this as what a raised to power a raised to power one. Of course, b raised to power zero is what one. So I have that to be what one. And one combination one is what is what one. And one a raised to power zero is what one. So I have this to be what b. Meaning that the left hand side is still the same as what the left right hand side. So I can conclude that p of one is what is true. Now let's move on to the next step. My first step is what my base case. My base case. So the next one is your inductive step. Now for your inductive step, you assume that you assume that p of k is what is true. That is, you assume that it is true for any natural number greater than what one. Assume that p of k is true. Now what is our proposition? K p of k. That is, if we substitute our p of k here in this uh, in this proposition, if we substitute p of k, what are we going to have? We are going to have this to be what? We are going to have this to be a plus what? b, that is our proposition k. We are assuming that this proposition k, that is a plus b raised to power k, which is what? Summation starting from what? r equals to 0 up to what? k of what? Of k combination r that is n is now replacing k of k combination r a raised to power what k minus r b raised to power what r now what we want to prove is that the number after k which is k plus one is what is also true once we we are able, once we can be able to prove that p of k plus one is what is true then by induction binomial theorem is what is true that proposition is true that is, we assume that p of k is what is true, right? So we want to prove that p of k plus 1 is true. And from this equation right here, if I multiply both sides by a plus b, now what am I going to have? I'm going to have this to be a plus b raised to the power, a plus b raised to the power 1 multiplied by what? Multiplied by a plus b raised to the power k which will give me what a plus b right multiplied by what multiplied by the summation of r starting from 0 up to what up to k of a raised to power k minus r b raised to power r right so uh, I've lost my combination this is k combination r k combination r so times a raised to power k minus r b raised to power what's r and by the time i expand this what am i going to have i'm going to have this to be a multiplied by what summation of r starting from zero up to what k times k combination r right times k a k minus r b raised to power r plus b multiplied by what summation r starting from zero up to what k of what k combination r a raised to power k minus r b raised to power r all right so what we did here is just we distributed 
this over what over this now if we simplify this further that is if a this a here if it multiplies the a here what am i going to have we are going to have this to be what we are going to have this to be summation r starting from what zero up to what up to k right times of what of k combination r of a raised to the power now if you multiply a from your law of indices a multiplied by a raised to the power k minus r will give us what that power is going to increase it's going to give us k plus 1 minus what r times b of r yes plus what the summation the summation of what r starting from 0 now if b is multiplying this of course this is going to give us k combination r multiplied by a raised to the power of k minus r b raised to the power r plus what 1 now if i try to expand the summation of r starting from 0 of a k combination r a raised to the power k plus 1 minus r b raised to the power r now if i try to expand it from 0 you see that this is starting from 0 that is when your r is 0 you have k combination 0 times a raised to the power k plus r minus what 0 because your r is 0 and b is also what 0 then plus k combination 1 of a time, times b that's a raised to the power k plus 1 minus what 1 times what b b raised to the power 1 plus what when your r is 2 then up to what when your r is what k because you are stopping at k this is where you are stopping so because you are stopping at k so you have k combination k times what a raised to the power k plus 1 minus what k and times b raised to the power k now you can write this in form summation form now what is the value of this first one now you will see that b raised to the power 0 is what goes to what 1 and this goes to k combination 0 is what k combination 0 is 1 so i have i'm left with what a raised to the power k plus 1 so i have this first term here now for the second term you see that k is starting my counter is starting from 1 this is changing 1 to up to what k that means that i can write this as the summation starting from what 1 up to what up to k of k combination what r then multiply by what is the function here the function here is what k plus 1 which is not changing but my r is changing which is what r then b raised to power what r so by the time we expand this we are going to get all this what all these other terms here that is we are going to get all these terms here so we can conclude that k the summation of r starting from 0 to k of k combination r of a raised to power k plus 1 minus r times b raised to power r is equal to what is equal to a raised to power k plus 1 plus the summation of r starting from 1 up to k of k combination r times a raised to power k plus 1 minus r times b raised to power r now for the second expansion we have r starting from 0 up to what k of k combination r of a raised to power k minus r times b raised to power r plus 1 now if we try to expand that one also that is starting from 0 you see that when you start from 0 when r is 0 that is you are going to have k combination 0 times a raised to power k minus 0 b raised to power 0 plus 1 then plus k combination 1 of a raised to power k minus 1 right k minus 1 right times b raised to power what 1 plus what 1 then when your r is 2 you have what you have this then that is you have k combination 2 times a raised to power k minus 2 times b raised to power 2 plus 1 you will see that these numbers here the ones written in yellow color are the one changing that is for the last term last term is when your r is equals to k what do you have you have k combination k right times a raised to power k minus k you can see the k that is changing the one written in yellow sign times b raised to power what k plus what plus one this is supposed to be written in green color so you have k raised to power k plus one so these are just the k's that are what are changing these are the numbers that are what changing so now how do i write the term before it the term before it is when your k is what k minus one that is the yellow one is k minus one so the term before it right if you have 5 the term before 5 is what 4 right now what's the term before k that is k minus 1 so if we have that so we have k combination k minus 1 
times a raised to power k minus the one that is changing you can see the yellow one this these are the ones changing so the term here which is k minus one will be what's written here k minus one and this one which is also what's k minus one plus one then we have this now if i decide to write the summation form from the beginning here from k combination zero up to what k combination k minus one okay so what am i going to have i'm going to have this to be what the summation now i want to i want to stop at k the summation of r starting from what one all right now don't be scared what i just need to do here is that i just need to write this as r minus one because anytime i put one i'm going to have what zero so anytime i put two i'm going to have what one anytime i put three i'm going to have what two anytime i put reach k i'm going to have what k combination k minus one i hope you understand so now we we'll be able to write this because now if you try to put all these values r equals to one up to k you are going to generate all these values except from the last term here now in which i can now put us of course k combination k is what one and a raised to power k minus k is what zero which is one then times b raised to power k plus one and i have this now if i simplify this guy here that is k minus open bracket r minus one i'm going to have this to be what k plus one by just distributing this k plus one minus what r then r minus one plus one is what is what zero so i'm left with what r so i have this to be what b raised power k plus one now i've just shown you how when you expand this first summation how it gives you this and also when you expand the second summation how it gives you this now let's proceed further now here we are going to have this to be what a raised to power k plus what one plus now if you check this summation you will see that the function here right are the same that is i can add this summation and this what summation together this one is starting at one this one is also starting at one it's ending at k it's also ending at k and the function here is what are the same so that means i can add their coefficients together so if I add them time wise, what am I going to have? I'm going to have this to be what summation R starting from what one up to what K of what of K combination R plus what plus K combination R minus one, right? Times A raised to the power K plus one, right? Minus R times B raised to the power R, then plus the last term here, B raised to the power k plus one now if i simplify this further i'm going to have this to be what a raised to the power k plus one plus the summation of r starting from one up towards k now if you apply pascal identity to this to this value here that is k combination r plus k combination r minus one by pascal identity in which i will drop the link in the description box below this will give us what this will give us k plus one combination r multiplied by what a raised to power k plus one minus r b raised to power r plus what b raised to power k plus what one now you will all agree with me that k plus one combination zero is what is still what one so i have k combination k plus one combination zero multiplied by a raised to power k plus one which is still what one right because k plus one combination zero will still give me what one plus right plus the summation of r starting from what starting from one of what up towards k of k plus one combination what r right then multiply by a raised to power k plus one minus what r then b raised to power r then plus you all are, you also agree with me that k plus one combination k plus one is what is also what one right then multiply by what k plus one now if you study these terms very well you are starting from zero you move to what one then you stop at k plus one so what does that tells you that we have this to be what the summation of r starting from zero ending at what k plus one right of what of k plus what one because this are this all these 
are not changing this is not changing this is not changing this is not changing so you have k plus one combination what r right of what a raised to power k plus one minus what r b raised to power what r which is still the same thing as what which is still the same thing as a plus what b raised to the power what k plus what one now we'll be able to prove that p of k plus one is what is what is true right by mathematical induction since we are be able to prove that p of k plus one is what is true then by mathematical induction the proof of binomial theorem is what is complete thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video if you've enjoyed this video make sure you click on the subscribe button and also on the notification icon so that you'll be notified whenever i post a video like this see you next time